Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Dome Runners TV. I'm your host, Crimson Oracle, and today I'm going to be showing off one of my latest conversion projects. It is a short video. Um, I'm just going to delve a little bit into the new Van Sar gang that I created using the Tarantula's Brood, one of the Warcry kits that came out in Red Harvest. It is a fantastic kit. It is very aesthetically suitable for the Ash Waste Outlands kind of environment, featuring a lot of fighters wearing, you know, tattered rags, uh, leathers made from clearly spider, uh, <laughs> various other things. And it really fits well with the look and feel of House Vansar. If you're interested in a Vansar gang that has very different kind of feel than the sort of uh, high-tech suits that you see in the core kit. Uh, I strongly recommend checking out the Tarantula's Brood. They would also make a great basis for really any other kind of Outland gang. Um, you know, the heads are just very spiderific, so, <laughs> you know, it might just be uh, good for any kind of spider worshippers, you know? Um, regardless, I will run you through those conversions and uh, I definitely am going to need another set of the tarantulas because making 10 was just not enough. Uh, I'm going to need more. First up, there is Laszlo the Arachnid. Uh, this is the Vansar Prime for this gang. I used the gang leader. Uh, I wanted to take advantage of the fact that he had four arms to kind of do a, uh, you know, a four-armed uh, tech monstrosity, the kind of thing that you might find wandering in the uh, ash waste. He's a bit mutated. He's a bit uh, enhanced. And I used parts from the uh, Skatari uh, Taraxi in order to make those arms. Um, and then a bunch of parts from the Van Sar kit, obviously. And the uh, knife is from the upgrade kit. And next up, there is the Archaeotech for the gang, Guillermo. Uh, he is sporting a custom version of that Archaeotech gauntlet. Uh, I couldn't really use the full kit for that. It was just not going to work with the way his sort of armor, uh, you know, not lack of armor really, uh, fits in. So I decided to use a bunch more Skatari parts. Uh, to from the Taraxi kit, uh, and then a, a backpack from the regular Skatari kit uh, to make this particular model. Um, the Taraxi arm forms the basis of that claw, and then the blades from the claw are actually from uh, weapons on the Tarantula sprue. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Uh, I used some sprue for the bottom for the basing in order to make the legs work. And uh, yeah, this was just a real uh, fun little creation uh, that I really wanted to kind of put my all into. Um, I, I like the Archaeotech um, like unit as a concept, and, and this was definitely the best I could come up with. Then, of course, there is uh, the Augmech Nadia, who I, I always seem to wind up with close combat characters. Uh, this is a reoccurring theme with all of my uh, Necromunda gangs. I just really like uh, the, the sort of warrior badass who runs in uh, kind of thing for, for my various champions. It doesn't work in every gang, but uh, here she is sporting a extremely stylized uh, shock baton or shock staff, that is, and uh, the high star energy shield. Um, I definitely really wanted to use the spear that the model came with, uh, that pose is very iconic. I thought it would go well with the shield, um, and it just turned out exactly as I was hoping. So I was really happy with this one. And then there is my next Augmech, Colin, who is sporting a uh, plasma pistol and a, a servo claw. I used the spider claw arm from the tarantula's kit and then enhanced it with bits from those Taraxi again. And then a backpack actually taken from Tau. 
Uh, I really am loving kind of putting various uh, technological bits onto these tarantulas because uh, these Skatari kits have so many cool little augmentics and I think that it really elevates the model to feel more science fiction than if you kind of uh, don't incorporate any technology. Not that there's anything wrong with that as obviously there are very low-tech folks running around on Necromunda. And then there's the last of my Ogmax, uh, Nandor, who is sporting a shock stave and a las pistol. This model actually could also be used as a, a subtech if you wanted to uh, have a you know subtech that had a close combat weapon. It's not necessarily the best purchase for one of them. But, of course, the champions aren't particularly good uh, <laughs> in close combat either. So, you know, I really like how dynamic this model is. I really wanted them to have a, a kind of combat uh, weapon because of the, the posing and the posture. Uh, we'll get into the, you know, the ones that are, are holding rifles next. Uh, and I can't wait to get more of these models so that I can use them uh, to expand the variety of options in the gang. And, of course, there is a specialist in the gang, as I tend to do for Vansar. I chose the Ravgun because I like that it does not rely uh, as much on the ballistic skill because it's a blast weapon. And I also like that it's not plasma, as I find plasma in Vansar can be a little excessive. You'll see that there's a few plasma pistols, but this gang does not contain any plasma rifles. Rounding out the gang, there are a few more basic uh, techs. We've got the uh, las gun on this one and on the next one. I really liked how their poses kind of showed them, you know, to be kind of ducking and crouching and hiding and ambushing, because that's how I imagine that ash waste spiders tend to do their business. And of course, the other tech here with the las gun that you can see looks similarly dynamic. Uh, I think that they contrast nicely against the official kit. And of course, the last of the basic models, we have another tech, and this time with the suppression laser, a weapon that I find to be uh, Probably kind of lackluster, but I really like it in that it gives Vansar a shotgun option that's thematic uh, for their style of warfare. So there's that. And of course, I could hardly make an Ashway Skang without using at least one of the uh, vehicles that are now part of the Vansar lineup. Uh, this is, of course, a Neotech on the... Uh, grav sled or whatever it's called i really like the model that i picked for it in my mind they have this rigged up to operate on a sort of uh almost like a skateboard kind of approach where they uh, run their foot along the side of the board in order to uh set the acceleration level and that's why they're sort of uh in this pose this very dynamic pose and I just really, uh, I could not love this model more. And I can't wait to do uh, another one or two of the uh, Neotechs once I get more of the Tarantulas. Because they are really fun models. And uh, I think that they uh, definitely will be a lot of fun in Ash Waste especially. And of course, I had to make the spiders. I would probably use them for the big one for a cyberarachnid, maybe the little ones, or just use them as environmental spiders. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the podcast, domerunners.buzzsprout.com. And of course, like and subscribe. And you can, of course, support the show on patreon.com slash domerunners. You get to hear podcast episodes two weeks early.